Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Verizon Galaxy S4. This is the Eclipse ROM. I've been running it for the past two weeks and I've found no need for changing the ROM. I've actually seen two updates on this particular ROM. Uh, like I said, I love it so much that I haven't really changed it. So what you get with the Eclipse ROM is a full TouchWiz experience with the bloat and crud wear removed. So it's going to make things snappier. It's going to free up some space on your device. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice is that I'm running a different launcher. I'm running the Nova launcher. And you can see that there is no lag whatsoever. With a regular TouchWiz launcher, there is actually noticeable lag. And that's one complaint that I've seen on the Samsung Galaxy S4. It has the awesome specs, uh, but it also has tons of lag, which, you know, on a quad-core processor phone, there should be no lag. So Nova launcher in and of itself takes care of that, and you guys can see that this ROM really flies. So on top of the Nova launcher, Eclipse is always, a nitroglycerin has always been really good at tweaking the ROM and modifying the ROM for performance and battery life. So battery life is one of the points that I really wanted to make about this ROM. I've been getting incredible battery life. So we'll go to the gallery and I'll show you some screenshots that I took of my battery life. So on this particular day I was at 14 hours and I still had 65% on a charge and you see that the screen was most of what I was using there. Uh, screen on time would have been on this day probably about two and a half hours and here we've got 16 and a half hours with 58 percent and same thing here probably about two and a half to three hours of screen on time and then here we had 57 percent at 14 hours and 36 minutes and the first day that I ran it uh, did not get as good of battery life of course the ROM needs to settle in so uh, just keep that in mind. Give it a day or two to see that excellent, excellent battery life. We'll go ahead and show you guys what I've been getting today on battery. So I'll go into settings and battery. And 14 and a half hours, I've got 37%. So this ROM has excellent, excellent battery life. It's probably one of the best parts of this ROM, one of the reasons that I have continued to run it. So uh, I really love the fact that I have my TouchWiz options while having more of an AOSP look and feel. Um, we'll go into settings and look at some of the modification options. You have your launcher settings. So this is Nova launcher settings. If you're familiar with Nova launcher, then you're already familiar with the settings. Uh, you can add folders. You can enhance your dock. There's some drawer settings and desktop settings, including the transition that you see here which is custom. We'll go back into settings. We'll look at our quick settings. So your quick settings would be uh, your quick tiles here and you can customize those. Then we'll just apply our settings. And when we bring down our quick settings, there's all of our tiles. We have some battery options here. These are the different battery gauges. If we go into styles, you see all the different battery gauge options. My favorite is the digital. But there are several to choose from. We have some performance settings. This opens up the K-Tweaker application. Uh, this ROM does indeed come with the K-Tunes TouchWiz kernel, which adds plenty of speed and performance while helping out with the battery life. You can change voltages. which should improve on battery. You can change, there's some general settings here. Uh, there is no overclocking, but you can underclock. You can change the governor, that can also help with battery life and overall performance. You choose to set those options on boot. In the extras, you have different profiles that you can set. Uh, for whenever your screen is off. If you go in here and play around with this, you can actually uh, decrease your governor and you can decrease your uh, you can decrease the power consumption while the screen is turned off and that really can help uh, incredibly with your battery life. You have some GPS enhancements here, some uh, Bluetooth. You do have fast charging and vibration strength and several other options to choose. The Kronos widget. This application comes with the Kronos widget and then there are some settings for that Kronos widget. So this ROM is not 
full of settings and options and customizations. But what you do get with this ROM is battery life, performance, and overall stability, which are all good things for the, the ROM itself. I have noticed a great performance improvement from the original TouchWiz stock ROM when running the Eclipse ROM. And like I said, really, I just enjoy the TouchWiz look and feel that you get with the Eclipse ROM. So if we press and hold, we'll get wallpapers. You do have some Eclipse wallpapers. Custom wallpapers are always nice, but there are several to choose from. And then this also comes with a custom boot animation. So we'll go ahead and install this ROM real quick. You'll need the Eclipse ROM. You'll also need the G-Apps. You'll need the Eclipse ROM itself, which I'll include a link in the description. We'll go to Restart and go into Recovery. Once we're in recovery, the install will be pretty simple. We're simply going to wipe, and with Team Win Recovery Project, you're going to wipe data, cache, and Dalvik all in one swoop. We just swipe to factory reset, and then we'll go to install, and we're looking for the Eclipse ROM, so we'll go into our download folder. If we downloaded it directly to our phone, that's where it'll be. We're looking for the Eclipse. Uh, 1.6 was the latest version when I downloaded it. So you would just select that and swipe to flash. When that's all finished, you'll just reboot the device. And uh, you will see the custom Eclipse mm -hmm. boot animation. So guys, this has been the Eclipse ROM by Nitroglycerin. One of my favorite ROMs for the Verizon Galaxy S4. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click the like button. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.